What's going on YouTube? It's Jesse coming back to you with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about the number one reason why email copywriting is an incredible foundation business model. What do I mean by foundation business model? I mean the one that'll get you started in all of your other business ventures. Produce that income flow that you need to have creativity. Because when you're always stressed out about money and you don't have your bills paid, it's a recipe for disaster in your business. So it's a great foundation flow for your income and then it can turn into something bigger than that if you want. Before we dive in, if you're not part of the Facebook group, definitely go get inside below. And also if you're looking for hand-holding support to get you to a job quitting income as fast as possible, definitely recommend you get into the HFM program by booking a call below where we literally handhold you start to finish the entire way micromanaging you to the finish line because the majority of people online that start businesses give up because they don't have the right help. They buy a program, they don't have one piece of information, it's, in, it's impossible to get in touch with the course creator, and they go find a new business model to try out. The reason I know this is because I was guilty of that myself. The HFM program is designed to fix all the common problems that come with your average program or course online. So why is email copywriting a great foundation business model? Well, it was one of the main income sources I had that allowed me to quit my nine to five job, corporate America. So I know it's a great foundation. It's perfect for repeat business. So you're not gonna be wondering if your client's gonna dump you. You can get a pretty good gauge while you're writing for them if they're pleased or upset. So you, you're not gonna usually get these out of left field kind of issues that come with a lot of other agencies. You'll be able to see the red flags very quickly. If they're gonna be a pain in the ass client, they're gonna, they're gonna nitpick you on click rates, then you can, that's a pretty good warning sign that you're probably, you better start looking for new clients. Or if they're the kind of client that just wants you to write and they just, they understand the importance of having a daily broadcast email going out every day and they understand that not all the emails are gonna convert. There's only about 1% of people that read the email every day that are ready to even consider buying. So they have realistic expectations. You know you're probably gonna have them for a while. So you've got the reoccurring revenue. You know what's basically gonna come in every month. And you can plan your life according to that. If you got big things going on, you can kinda of not stress out as much about how much money you're gonna make. You know it'll be there the next 30th or 15th of the month. Number two is it's a very low learning curve service. If you were to go out and try to learn how to do SEO for websites, I've done research on it myself and it is a huge, huge learning curve. With copywriting, emails specifically, all you have to do is go spy on the competition. Now you have the framework to write your own emails. If you had to, you could have a client give you the work. You've never written an email in your life and you could stay up all night looking at 10 different competitors' emails and incorporating emails from all of them into your email so that you know that the first email you give them is, is going to kill it for them, or they're, at least they're gonna be impressed. That's the main thing, right? It doesn't have to be a killer email, you just have to impress the client. You gotta keep the client happy. You can, you can learn how to do the whole service in an evening. If you go try drop ship, you've got way more moving pieces. You gotta learn where to get the appropriate inventory. You gotta learn the different customer service templates. You've got to learn shipping times. You've got to learn how to set up the account so you don't get banned. You've got to learn sales tax. There's just so many different components, moving pieces. The learning curve is massive compared to just opening up a Google Doc and writing. I know this because I spent a ton of time on e-commerce, wasted years dabbling in it until I finally found email copywriting and you know, freelance activities and that's what allowed me to quit my job. So the learning curve is stupid small. And number three is there's essentially zero risk. And this is actually very important in the online space because you are at the mercy of these platforms. You've got social media, you've got emails, you've got phone calls. You've gotta know which one can go south for you at any moment in time. With copywriting specifically, the risk is almost 100% on the client because for the client to pivot from their business, let's just say they got you know, let's just say their business took a shit. You can very quickly go get a new client, whereas they can't really do much to pivot. It's gonna take a lot more for them to pivot. You've already set up your business, you know how to write, you know how to get clients, because you've already got them. So for you to pivot, it's way less energy. So to recap, number one, it's reoccurring revenue. So you have a pretty good idea what you're gonna make every month. And you can plan your life, you can plan your investments. You know you're gonna make, let's just say $10,000 a month. You know you can take two grand of that, let's say, and play around with investments. Because ultimately that's what you should be doing too, is you should be investing your money, right? 
You don't want to work the rest of your life. You should be building up your passive income to replace your active income. Number two, you can learn how to do email copywriting in like a day if you had to. If it was balls to the walls, you could make it happen. If you really had to, it, would be, it wouldn't be ideal. I wouldn't recommend you write your very first email for a client in one evening. It's going to be tough. My very first emails I wrote took me like an hour and a half to two hours to write because I had to learn everything. I had to understand like how the email should flow. When should I format the email? How should it sound? How do you make it not sound cheesy to the reader? There's so many variables that you just don't expect that are going to hit you. But you can wing it if you had to. And number three, there's ultimately zero risk. The only thing you have to worry about keeping up is your Stripe account or whatever you collect payment with. Your Google Docs, you don't even need Google Docs. You can submit a PDF to them if you want. There's barely any moving pieces. And you get to use cold email to get your clients. The risk is on the client. They're going to have a whole lot more problems if they have to shut down the business than you are. Because you can just be like, okay, just lost that, lost that client that was paying me two grand a month. I'll just go get another one. Out of the countless of them that exist out there. Waiting to hear from you because they need a better writer or they need a writer. Or they need an additional writer. Three big, you know, I won't get into it in this video, but those are three big things a company would need to have a problem with to hire you. They need a brand new writer. They never had a writer before. They need a replacement writer because their current writer sucks. Or they need an additional writer. So anyway, guys, hope you found massive value in this video. Again, make sure to book a call below if you would like to enroll into the HFM program. Obviously, no obligation on the call. We'll just discuss it with you, give you all the details, you know, what you're actually getting if you did enroll, and see if it's a good fit for you on that call. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Peace.